Today, I am excited to demonstrate how our new NextLog platform solution seamlessly integrates with an agent for the first time. So, for this, I have a Windows server here with me, on which I will install our agent, which is the latest version, and I will integrate it with our NXLog platform solution and perform the initial template setup and start log collection. So at this moment, I will install our agent here on my Windows server. Okay, we already have our service installed. So you see that I already have, including the folder of NXLog with some files already here. What matters most to us at this moment and for this video example will be the configuration part where we have here the configurations both for when we are not going to work with the platform solution. Is the standard solution. It's the standard configuration of our agent and we will change it so that we can integrate with our platform solution. Is the solution standard. It's the standard configuration of our agent and we will modify it to integrate with our platform solution. So if I come here inside my solution, as you can see, I already have some step-by-step -step instructions informing that I need to download the agent, do the configuration and integration part so that I can start collecting logs. So I already have the agent installed there on my Windows server. I come here to agents, click on add new agent. It will even give me here some step-by-step -step instructions on how I should do this installation and configuration part of my agent based on my operating system. I will go to the next additional steps. And what we need at this moment is to copy the manage.conf file to my agent. So I will copy it from here. I will go back here to my server on Windows. I will delete everything I have in my manage.conf file. Is to check. I will save this information. And something very important also for the Turboshoot issue is to verify this folder of data and also open the log file associated with our agent. You have the option to enable the monitoring section right here within the Notepad application. So I already possess the updated configuration, which signifies that my agent will establish communication with my platform solution via this specific host name and port. Keeping in mind that this is already set up within my hosts file on this Windows server, indicating the IP address based on this host name. Therefore, I am required to perform the restart, the reboot of my service. I will proceed to restart my NX log service here. I already have my agent here, still with the status of new. What I need to do, the initial step, is to perform the enrollment. This enrollment between the integration of my platform solution and the agent will facilitate the exchange of certificates and ensure that this integration and communication are completely secure. The agent changes from new to warning status and now to online. We have successfully integrated the agent with my platform solution. However, we are currently in the process of setting up the data collection procedures, as there is no template, no configuration for Windows to start doing this. If we navigate here to configurations overview, I have all my templates, which I will configure and apply these templates to my agents. I already have one configured here, which I will demonstrate to you, which is a rule a template to facilitate the collection of Windows information. So I already have here collecting Windows events, sending them to two destinations. I will do it again to clarify how we can accomplish this one by one. Firstly, I need to determine the requirements for carrying out the log collection process. For this specific task, I will be gathering Windows logs. 
So I will drag and drop here what I need from Windows information. And to send, in this case, we will have two destinations in this example. The first one will be to send my logs to my platform, and the second will be to store these logs within a file. So to send this information to the platform, I need to type platform. It will automatically find to send to, I will drag and drop. And I also wish to store this information within a file. I will type here, send to file. Here, I need to specify what my file is. So we can go to my server. Once again, we return to our Windows server. I will store this information here in my data folder. And we will call this file windows log, which is where we will store the events of windows. I will save. And here, this communication between the agent, between the Windows server, to send and store this information in our database, here in our platform solution, I will ensure that this information, that this communication is also secure using those same certificates that we already have integrated between the agent and our solution. I will employ a secure communication. Save. I will save this configuration and based on this configuration, I will return again to my agent and apply this template. So I will state that from now on, this agent will have this configuration to collect events and send to these destinations. With enrolled status, with enrolled status online and already with a template. So if I click here on my agent, I can already see at this moment what its configuration is with the, my inputs, my outputs, and also some statistics. I will already start, as soon as it starts sending events, I will already start checking these events here in my inputs and outputs. Another interesting point is that if I return to my server, I already have the Windows file here, the one we created through the configuration. I am able to open it right here in my Notepad application, and I immediately begin to observe the Windows events transitioning to this location and being stored in this particular file. If these are stored within this file, I can most likely also view these events within my platform solution. So if I go to log search, I already start to see my Windows events as well. Therefore, all the events that originate from my Windows Server 2019, from my Windows Server, I begin to store in a file according to my configuration settings, according to my template, and I also start storing them within our platform solution. Thus, this indicates that I possess the source, which would be the Windows logs, directed to two distinct destinations transmitting precisely the same logs. So this is quite fascinating that with just a few clicks, you can already visualize and manage your agents, integration with our platform solution, and start collecting events. So if I click today, right now, inside my agent, I can already check the event information per second, my received events, my sent events. Therefore, I can already obtain information with significantly more information, with much greater detail of everything occurring here within my agent. Not just statistics, but also all the logs that are passing through. Since I am able to transmit this information here to our platform solution. So this video today is intended to demonstrate this information and this integration between the agent and our platform solution. Any updates, any issues, or any questions, our team will be available to address any problems that may arise within your configuration, your tests, and anything you may undertake using our platform solution in conjunction with the agents. Thank you.